You're live, apparently, it says. I'm live. Right, let's see if I can get this. To... Good morning, friends. Is everybody, or is anybody here? Hello? I think it slowly was moving. Yeah, I'm trying to adjust it. Okay. Good? Yeah, it's fine. We don't okay. have anybody here. Yeah, I'm not late. There's two people. Good morning. How's it going? Oh, Bethany says, hello, my mothers are run and nods are here. Good. Good morning. How are we today, everybody? And Blueberry Bell is here and says, good morning. And Veronica says, good morning. Good Red morning. Says, hello. And Redberg says, good morning. How are you doing? How's everybody doing today? Well, if you can't tell, we are trying out acrylic markers this morning. We got acrylic brush markers. Correct. So, Hello from Germany. This purple looks really nice. I'm not joining at the end of the live today, says Brenda. Emma's here and says, good afternoon. Hi, Emma. Oh. Let's see. These feel like regular markers, so what makes them acrylic? High adhesion. Elsa's here from Frankfurt. Hello, good morning. Yay. We are trying alcohol, uh, no, uh, acrylic markers this morning. Sorry. Acrylic markers. Acrylic brush markers. Ooh, this morning. look at that. Oh, they cover up the other. other they uh, are acrylic. There you go. Hello from Ireland. Those colors look so nice, says Mauricio. Look at uh, that. I'm getting started at drawing. But yeah, those are, well, they're opaque. They are opaque. That is, <laughs> Ch wow. Chow used Ember says, good morning. It's too early for alcohol. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was funny. I like that one. Well, then I'm just going to just play around with uh, 2D over here. Oh, who do we have this morning? Honey. Oh, sorry, he's drinking tea. Give him a minute. I said it's 2D from the from Gorillas. Ah, there we go. Snow day, so no school for Ben. Hello. Oh, that's great. Hello from Iceland. I have always wanted to go there. Um, so Kura says, hi, it's evening for me, actually. The joy and surprise in Scott's voice. So relatable. So uh. <laughs> hey, I've never here. used these before, so. Bethany says, it is rare to hear Scott so shocked and surprised. Yeah, I, I was not expecting that. They just feel like regular markers. Okay, so they sent over 60 of these, and I'm trying to figure out how best to organize them. Uh-oh. We need to organize them before we get going. Marguerite says hello. Hi from Pakistan. Hello, Pakistan. What is your favorite classic art piece? Well, classic for me is the Romantic period, and it would be uh, Sir Lawrence Amatadima's Spring. Oh, I thought you were going to say it was something that you've drawn of me because it was the Romantic period. Yeah. But I'm bumped. I'm here all week, people. All week. Take my wife, please. <laughs> I was going to sleep, but I changed my mind. I will not rest. I'm so excited to see how this turned out. I love gorillas. Um, you're all amazing and loved. No, oh, he's never you. used these before. These I've the never time. used them. I, I Are those like Poscas? That's I, a good I don't know. I ordered Poscas because you guys keep asking me to try yeah, them. So let's, let's play around a little more. So what it looks like is... Let me see if I can get this. All right. Where am I going after the weekend? I'm going to Christmas town. It looks like I can take this blue... And I could make like a little circle, right? And fill it in. And it's very smooth. Yeah, they look like they're really smooth. Okay. And it's then... See, are there lines from the acrylic or no? Lines. Like regular markers when you color through no, your markers? No, this is okay. very smooth. Okay. I'm also working in cold press watercolor paper. But... Oh, hold on, flip that over again. Look. What? Did it go through? No. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just opaque, so you're seeing the light oh, shine through okay. it. It looked to me like a light. Now I'm going to take this cream color and 
It is not a hundred percent poop, but see a little bit of the blue. Came off on the came off, so yes, you gotta kinda wipe it off. But I wonder if I can go over it a couple times. Doesn't look like it. Still, if I was to do that with regular markers, oh, it would make a mess. It would, yeah, you wouldn't see it. I'm wondering how long the marker nibs last before clogging and drying. Well, we'll find out. Yeah, I guess so. Let's. This is white, which is picking up the blue. So you kind of have to wipe them off after. Um, so yeah, sorry, I missed your comment. Up there. But let's see. So if I do a red. It goes over it. They are Artex. A-R-T-X-X. Acrylic markers. Let's try orange. That's really interesting. Uh, yellow. You guys, everybody's nervous because the 2D stuff is on the line that they don't want it to be. <laughs> well, like, oh I figure it's good if I practice a little bit. Just ask, asking after you do this, could you give an overall review of these? I will. I'll do a video on it. Um, here's pink. Kayomi did a TikTok and sent you a tip. It says, I really hope you watch. It was my first time doing a watercolor. Oh, I look forward to seeing it. I hope you tagged us because we can't. Yeah, that's how I find it us. is if you tag yeah. me. All right. Um, let's what type of acrylic paint do you use? Uh, I don't use acrylic paint, but when I do, um, I, I'm using the Himmy acrylic paint. Scott's favorite watercolor brand is Winsor & Newton. 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 Scott's favorite watercolor Well, people, should we try it? Well, duh, yeah, come on. Holy cow, how many of these did you get? 60. I'm not going to try all 60, but all right, let's give it a shot. Let's see what we can do with 2D. So I guess we'll start with the base colors first. So here is the picture I have of 2D. Everybody is dying. Oh, does, do these need a light fastness test, says Marguerite? I think so. Here's 2D. And let's see. I'm going to start with the with the blue. So let me find blue. Of the pens you review, what's the best for beginners? That's the waffle one they sent you a tip. Um, I mean, if you're just a beginner, uh, I would say something probably like the the Artex, uh, or is it no Art Beak? Yeah, the was Art the Beak. was the, uh, the um, this one right here? If you're just a beginner, you just want to play around. This one was the best one yeah. for like what was it twenty something dollars? Twenty twenty nine dollars. And you get seventy two seventy two colors. I think that's the best deal for just learning because you can just play around you know and just have some fun i will let you know about this stuff though god i just something on that was dirty because now everything's all dirty on this okay well i Liz, found a blue Liz sent you a tip and says you're my inspiration i love your usage of wine within your watercolors oh. i'm so excited to see you draw my favorite character oh, well, thank, you. thank you and jamie brown has joined us this morning hi jamie um, your title here says, my dad went to art college so I can relate to some stuff. It goes over the previous lines with no problem. Now, that's impressive. Lucky yeah. for getting them free. Well, keep in mind, a lot of the stuff that we've gotten for free, we are going to be giving away in January. We're going to do some art um, supply giveaways for you guys. Yeah, I can't keep all of this stuff. There's no, there's no way. So they are gently used if some of them probably not used at all. And we'll be giving those away in January to encourage everybody to make art next year. 
The brush tip is nice. Yeah. I saw a vid where there was a product that reshaped the tips of your paint brushes, which looked cool. I didn't at you in the video, but I don't think you saw it. A few people have tagged me in that. Um, it does look interesting. I just don't want to spend any time with my paintbrushes, but... Uh, that would actually be something that uh, Bethany probably would like to use to reshape her brushes. Hi, the art person. See, see the, the, the downside is I kind of, there's like large areas, so I'm trying to not ruin the tip. Oh, Battlebrook says good morning. Good morning. I figured I'd give you an update on Dad. He celebrated his 75th birthday yesterday. Oh. Happy birthday, Dad. Oh, my gosh. I love hearing that. Happy birthday, Dad. That's great. Um, Duran says, since you're doing acrylic markers, could you please try the watercolor brush pens? Watercolor brush pens. You mean, you mean these pens? watercolor marker pens or you're just talking about like the ones with the empty thing where you can just put water into it yeah um uh, somebody wants to know what the best watercolor brushes are i did a video on that but um really i just like anything synthetic and that's a feel thing so yeah. you have to try brushes for yourself and see which ones you like the best Hey, Anne Marie's here and says hello. Hey, Anne Marie. Hi, Anne Marie. See, Personally, I, I use Artex alcohol markers. I always love it when people do reviews on products from Artex. It's good uh, materials for the for cheap. That's for sure. Connor says morning. Good I morning. Romania and thoughts on anime. Um, hello, and I think anime is fun. Oh, I know, I know I love feel good ink, but, uh, I think I listen to melancholy Hill the most. Looks like there's a sale on art Geek too, says M. Well, that would be great. They don't tell us when they're doing sales. They're always doing something. So that probably, I know, I know you can find art Geek on Amazon, um, but that would be great. Amazon always has good deals on big sets of alcohol markers as someone who has purchased about 30 sets. The quality on the large sets is usually similar. Try Ohuhu brush markers if you, next if you like them. Okay, Those we will. are on the list to try. Sorry, Did just you trying. Do you ever do longer videos of reviews or just stick to the shorts? I think I'm going to stick to the shorts because I don't have that much to say. I am um, not that verbose. Do you listen to the band Rush? I did uh, back in the 80s. Um, but uh, I think the only song from Rush that I have that's on my playlist is Subdivisions. Um, hi, it's Ben from the Hi, Ben from the UK. Your art. I've been subscribed for about six months. Would you ever try some Rocky Horror Picture Show art? I did actually paint uh, Tim Curry, mm -hmm. um, and it was in my 2020 Inktober series. Uh, you can probably find that on TikTok. What's your favorite song from Rush? I just said that. Okay. When did your passion for art begin? And when did you know you wanted to continue art for your life? Um, I think the passion part came in high school. You know, like I had like an inkling of talent and this and that or whatever. But I think the passion came in high school when you kind of had to decide what you want to do with your life. And you, you took... I took art school. Oh, those are the watercolor ones that you actually put. It's sort of like the ones where you put the water in it, but it comes in the set, but you got, the pens actually have pigment in them. You don't put water in it. Oh, interesting. 
I think you've tried some of those. We have the Crayola ones that have have the paint in them. Okay. I know you tried. What type of Windsor and Newton do you use? Uh, I use the professional ones, the the from the tube. What are your thoughts about character design? I love it. Not me doing it personally because I haven't done character design since I was in video games. But uh, yeah, I think it's amazing. The art person says, could you show us like a longer video of your art supplies? What, what do you want to see? I mean, because you guys are seeing everything that he uses every day. Yeah, and I did, and I've done videos where I break down like what I do for travel. Yeah, and so what exactly do you want to see? Any tips on what to paint for my friend's birthday? It's coming up in a couple of days and I want to paint something special. Um, God, there's so many things. Do they have a favorite pet? A favorite character, a favorite place? Favorite band, favorite car cartoon. Do you think you'll do felting soon? I don't think so. No, I'll, I'll leave that to the experts. Okay, so I've laid out. Now, this blue, I will say this. This blue is darker than the blue here. I don't know if you can see that. It's close. But that's the close, you know, you only have so many that you can work from. Now I'm going to come in with a deeper blue. And I hope this is it. Okay, let's see. No, nope, this is actually lighter. Is it? What's the best paper to use for acrylic paint? Um, I think for acrylics, people usually like to use um, canvas. Who are you drawing? This character is 2D, um, just a 2 and a D, from the band Gorillaz. Are acrylic markers better than alcohol markers, or what do you recommend for beginners? This is literally my first time ever ever using acrylic markers so i i don't I, I let me let me at least make it through the live before i make any judgments but i've used alcohol markers all my life and they have their pros and their cons but i've never used acrylic markers i don't know how long they last um you should draw more spider man they want you to draw something different with Octavia. Um, I heard you play Overwatch. What do you play on? Uh, PC. First time going um, to the live. How are you, Scott Donna, if that's how you spell her name? Oh. That's how you spell my name. I'm correct? doing very good. Thank you. Yeah, we're all right this morning. Welcome. We're happy you're here. Thanks for joining us. Um, Scott has done custom drawings in the past, but he is not doing those right now. Um, oh, Crepper says, you are both so sweet. I really enjoyed doing art, but was never good at it, so I gave up. But I recently picked it up again because of you. Oh, thank you. That's fantastic. Yeah, you know, you don't need to do it as a career. You can just do it because you love it. Yep. It's, it's, um, it's like someone not singing or dancing because they can't make a career of it. Um, you see people singing and dancing all the time. Art is for everybody. Yep, it is indeed. Um, let's see. Sadly, TikTok is banned in India. Well, it's a good thing, um, John Hobby, that we are on uh, YouTube as well. Yeah, but they were probably trying to find the, um, the video I was pointing out. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, it looks super smooth. It is. Those are barely seen, if not visible at all together. Super cool. Yeah. It's jewels. <laughs> Holy crap, how have you been drawing my childhood memories so often? <laughs> you're so funny. Um, tell people again who you're drawing. This is 2D from the band Gorillaz. Oh. I've never used a, uh, acrylic markers before, so please excuse the... 
awkwardness of it. Yeah, we like it when you're awkward. You're always so darn perfect in your watercolors that everybody loves it when you try something new and your everything looks a little, hmm, how's this gonna come out? We like it. Um, this is my first live stream with you, says Charlotte. I'm 10 years old and you inspire my art so much. Oh, hi, well, welcome Charlotte. It's so nice to meet you. We're happy you're here. What's the best bit of advice you've ever gotten? Oh, uh, um, I would say probably to use every tool that you have. Don't don't feel like you have to only use oil paints or only use acrylics or only use markers. Use whatever will tell the story. Okay, I'm taking some white. Any tips on, I don't know if this makes sense, but colors. They always flow well in your pieces, but they look weird and generic in mine, like they aren't a part of the same piece. You know, I, I, I think we all kind of feel that way when we're first starting out. And um, don't, don't take it personally. It's, it's just the starting out point. Um, you'll start to find colors that make you happy. And, and I would hope that, uh, once you do, you'll be able to, um, really feel good, really feel good about it, but just keep making art. You'll be fine. Okay. He has very pink skin. So I'm going to try this one. I hope this is right. You should do Octopus's Garden with Octavia by the Beatles. Oh, yeah. That's cute. That's a cute idea. Um, Mr. Saba, I love your art. Thank you. I really enjoy watching your videos. I used to draw myself, but I stopped because I don't have enough time because of school. Well, do it when you can. I, I like to journal, I think, is a good way to mix art and like a diary. I do this I started to fall away from my art. When I saw you, I started to stop falling away from my art because when I saw you, I was like, wow, I should draw again. Oh, that's great. Have you ever watched anime? If so, what's your favorite? My favorite is Speed Racer. Um, I also liked Star Blazers and which was Spaceship Yamato, I think, in Japan. And then, uh, of course, the Macross saga, uh, saga, which was uh, Robotech. Later on, I got into Dragon Ball Z. Scott tried the uh, glass dip pen once, but didn't care for it, so he does not use that. Um, I was looking for a cheaper substitute to canvas, as art is pretty much just a hobby for me right now. Yeah, then paper is fine. I would go with cold press paper. How do you stop shaking hands? I rest my hand on the paper. Uh, what's your favorite thing to draw? Hair. Are acrylic markers similar to paint pens? I don't know. Uh, I, I know I didn't have to shake them or anything. I don't have to. Oh, you didn't? Yeah, these are just, the, I thought these were just like regular brush markers. The, there's no shaking involved. There's no coaxing the water, the, the paint to come out. There's no blotchiness. That's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite color to use? Yeah. How do you get the inspiration to complete your unfinished artwork? I don't. That's why it's unfinished. Yeah. That's why there's the corner of shame. Yeah. Are you going for the gorilla style of rendering, or are you going to add your own artistic twist since these characters are really specific? It'd be interesting to see a twist in the style. I think if I was going to do a twist, it would be in watercolor. Right now, the reason why I picked 2D is because I knew that these were very flat and they don't seem to blend. Uh, and so I, I thought I would try this initially. And then if I want to push it a little more, I could see that. The, the thing that I'm concerned about is if you go over one color with another, it, it seems to pick up the previous color onto the brush, which if you guys remember, I was kind of wiping off the blue uh, from from the, the things. And so you don't want your pens to have other colors on the tips. 
So that's why I thought I would do something like this because it would be, I did one color and then I, I'll go over it with a darker color I think should be fine. So I'm kind of treating it a little like watercolors in that I'm doing um, light to dark. But I'm, I'm not blending them is what I'm saying because I think that would uh, create um, a mess on the brush tips. When will be your next time doing digital art as on the new iPad Air Pro and normal iPad Procreate is very, very good? Yeah, I, I, my iPad Pro is maybe six or seven years old and I bought a pen for it and I downloaded Procreate and the pens wouldn't work on my iPad Pro. So, and I'm not really up to spending a thousand dollars on a new iPad just for a video. So right now I'm just sticking to the stuff that I could do with the Wacom. What would you tell an 11 year old artist who wants to pursue art for a career? I would tell them to draw everything they see every day. Get good at drawing everything. Don't draw from your head, draw from what you see and do that for through high school uh, and you will then have the ability to go anywhere you want to in college so many people um, myself included as a kid uh, would just draw the character that i wanted like my original character over and over and over again or you know my favorite character out of my head and just doodle that over and over and over again trying to get it right had i spent that time drawing cars and cats and buildings and people and i would have been so much better when i got to college um, so you can, i don't know can you see there's there's some you could see some of the some of the strokes here yeah just not very faintly though yeah it looks like a very smooth type of a medium, though. Yeah, it's surprisingly, yeah. Well, I have some markers that um, I think they're, but I have to shake them, the acrylographs from Olive, yeah. and I have to shake them. And it's just interesting that you didn't have to shake these, and they have such a nice tip, and the, it seems like the ink um, flows out really nicely. It's, it, I don't think it's ink. I think it's like some sort of paint, hmm. and it's, it's very, very... It feels, I don't want to use the word magical, but it feels impossible. Like, how is this coming out as like a like an opaque paint through a marker tip? That yeah. part is really confusing me. But it looks really, really smooth. I'm going to, and, and, and we bought some Posca pens, so I'm going to yes. try those. But I think those are the kinds where you have to shake and do all of that stuff. Okay, right. so we finished the skin. Um, I like to use acrylics in my opinion, but I've never tried gouache. What's the difference between acrylics and gouache? System? There is a video on that, and but the but the the short version is that acrylics are um, shiny, glossy, and gouache is matte. Um, where's the pasta? What are you looking for inside? The ang piece. Oh, I don't know what you did with it. I was busy shipping yesterday. Was it in here? Um, I think it was in there when I was really okay. stuck out yesterday. Sorry, I'm going to just try to do a visual. Poscas are very expensive. Um, we bought a set of Poscas on Black Friday. So this is gouache and this is acrylics. Can you see the shininess? Oh, you can, yes. That's really the difference. Gouache is a, a lot more, a lot thicker. You can kind of see the brush strokes. Um, and uh, I'm sorry, acrylics are thicker. Gouache is more like watercolor. This is watercolor, this is gouache. So this just has more pigment in it. Um, what's the benefit of tracing? Uh, the benefit of tracing is um, like in a situation with me right here is uh, it saves me time. If I was to draw this, let's say it would take me 15 minutes to, because i got to get the shapes all correctly, the proportions and whatnot, which you have to do. Artists are not machines. But um, 
I could draw it pretty quickly. It's a very simple thing. But instead, tracing it took me three minutes to do. I projected it. I just kind of just did all of just the basic shapes, and I was done. So for me, it's a time saver. I'm making a new video every day. I'm doing that every day. So it's a time saver. Um, the other day, I went out... And we were sketching uh, a tractor. And you can see the tire isn't perfect. So that's another thing. Like, I'm not great at drawing machinery. Uh, but we were sitting outside. We were sketching. And tracing, if I was tracing this, that tire would have looked perfect. Sometimes perfect isn't what you want to go for. You know, sometimes you just want it to feel more like art and not like a photo. So it doesn't bother me that when I go out and about and I do this stuff that it is a little less perfect. But again, these are the things you think about. You're like, well, you're eyeballing something and, and sometimes it's good and sometimes it's not. And that's okay. So tracing, you can either use it to save you time or when you have to get something as close to perfect as possible. This was 60 markers? Well, it was two sets of 30. Two sets of 30, okay. Yeah. Okay, so I'm looking at, a couple of you are asking, the Artex, these are um, around $30 for a set of 30. That's right, these were two sets of 30. So um, about $30 for a set of 30 markers. Uh, so um, these are brush pens. So they're different from Posca's. Posca's are not going to be brush pens. I'm trying to find, I think that might be. You make your videos before the live or while the live is going on. Make my videos? Um, uh, the the okay. videos that you guys see, uh, the one minute shorts, are usually done afterwards. Like this, I'm, I'm recording for later. Isn't it uncomfortable wearing jewelry or hand accessories while drawing? I think uh, when I first started wearing it, it was a little uncomfortable, but like anything, you can get used to it. And so now I am a little more comfortable with it. Do you have any tips for oil pastels? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I, I've, <laughs> I've not had, know, yeah, go. I've not had luck with them. Um, if you, I would, if you want to get into oil pastels, I would definitely follow Black Bean. This is a little bit more of an orangey. Let's try this one. I'm in a slump with my art since I stopped using drugs. Watching your videos has helped me so much. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm glad. We're glad you're back on the on the healthy side of life. Um, thank you so much for your advice. My pleasure. We talked about the price of the pens. Um, we normally stay home for Christmas with our family. Um, I really admire artists that recreate images with such precision. That stuff's hard. Oh, thanks. What are it's... your favorite artists that are currently creating art? Uh, I love James Gurney. And um, I'm trying to think of people who are currently creating art. He was the first one who came to mind. Gosh, there is a, I need to find, remember this, that person's name, but the one who does the Art Nouveau stuff on Instagram. I really love their oh, work. Oh, her art is beautiful. Yeah. I'm horrible with names, but her art is beautiful. Yes, Scott went to art school. He went to Academy of Art in San Francisco. What's your favorite original character from the hair journal? Um, probably the trans one or the lesbians. says hello how are you guys doing we're doing good thank you um etienne says mr savage you have any tips for good colors with pencils i always couldn't get any of my drawings to look right after adding colors you know i i um i would always say start off with the photo reference start off with your reference that'll get you in the right direction and then from there you can start pushing it into different styles like i use uh purples for my shadows and whatnot but to find out where the shadows are and what the base colors are you really should start off with 
some sort of reference? I started out my sketchbook with a fancy portrait like yours. Fear of the first page avoided. Art oh, that's great. That's strict figures. Um, oh, Ella says, today was a bad day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Marguerite says, I find the shaking of the pastas and acrylographs annoying. I don't like it either. Yeah, it's like you have to mix the paint in the pen. So apparently you have to shake the pastas. So there you go. Okay. What was your experience like in art school? Wondering what your personal experience was like. My portfolio just got approved and I got a scholarship for reference and homeschooled and autistic outlaw. Oh, um, I was undiagnosed autistic and I had a good time in art school, but I didn't do well in art school. Um, I don't take uh, lessons very well. I don't like doing assignments and I like to figure things out on my own. So I just... I wouldn't say I was the best student. Okay. I, I'm going to take a break from the pinks and everything. I'm going to come in with the blacks and I'm going to see if. Well, that'll be interesting. Yeah. This, I'm wondering which one of these is. is art school when you answer great attention. That was a good idea. You think both of these are black? Uh, the people, well, they look black. Wait, wait, wait. What? They were from two different boxes. I think, well, I think they both came with a black. black. Yeah. Read it. They, they don't say anything. So let's see here. Try them on the page behind. No, it's fine. Um, where did you get the idea to do two Ds in acrylic? Well, um, I got the acrylic markers, and I assumed that they were going to be like Posca pens, which are very flat. And so I wanted to do a character that was very flat. And, um, and I was going to do more avatar but i thought well i don't want to just like go through different phases of like i'm just doing this right now uh, so i thought of different animated characters that i like and 2d kind of popped into my head thunderclap um we have an entire art hacks playlist that will give you um like hair tutorials and face tutorials and just a whole mess of things um, so you can check that out. Um, uh, the people whose names are in blue with a wrench next to them are our mods. They're friends of ours and they're helping us out answer questions because there's a lot of you here and I can't get to everybody's questions. Do you think you will start doing more cartoony styles or keep doing more realistic things? Well, I think my style, I try to stay away from realism, but I think I do like painting things that, you know, that are, are real a little more um, and then just trying to paint them in my style. But yeah, I think in general, probably 90% of the time you're going to see me painting in my personal style. What kind of art styles are your favorite to use? Um, my style, I, I, I think my style comprise, is comprised of Art Nouveau, um, a little bit of comic books, a little bit of movie poster, What's all of the, the stuff that I liked. What's the name of this character? His name is, or their name, I don't know, is 2D. Um, let's see. Who's the artist that you like to use? Is realism easier than it looks? Yes. Realism is definitely the easiest because all you have to do is look at a photo and copy it. Um that's, you know, the, the least thinking. I mean, a, a camera can do it. A computer can do it. You know what I'm saying? So our phones can do realism. It's not, it's not that hard. What's a tip for using watercolors? I've tried them and I'm struggling with control. Um, try not to control them. Let, that's why I do the inking first, because the ink is my control. I can control a pen. Watercolors are wild they're unpredictable and so you let them be and that's that's the art of it so that if you want to just lay down some nice pencils that you really like and then just let the watercolors kind of be what meal makes you feel like anton ego eating ratatouille <laughs> um it's it's probably well 
sherva, which is a, an Assyrian dish that uh, Donna will make from time to time. It's uh, something I didn't really grow up with it because it's not like my mom made it a lot, but it always reminded me of family. Very smooth. Um, let's see. I'm really surprised. I definitely want to do a light fastness test on them. Um, Scott doesn't use markers mostly. He uses watercolors. These are just to try. This is my first time ever using this. Yeah. What would you rate these markers out of 10? Um, out of all the markers I've ever tried, these are probably up there, probably nine or 10. I'm just starting out with alcohol markers. What's the best way to seal a finished piece? This is literally my first time ever using them. So, uh, let me ask you, is there a reason why you want to seal it? I have original... Oh, so, I'm sorry. You're talking about alcohol markers. These are acrylic markers. My apologies. Um, gosh, I, I don't think you need to seal. Look, alcohol markers are going to fade in light. They just are. So I, I, I don't know if sealing it is going to do any good. They're not. They're very light sensitive and they will fade and they will disappear over time. When did you start uploading your art videos? Um, I mean, I've been on like Instagram and Twitter and whatnot for decades. Uh, so old, man. I don't know. It's been like 15 years or something like that. But uh, that said, uh, I started doing the videos um, in 2020, August of 2020 on TikTok. Um, I think pastas are expensive. Um, like they are expensive. They're a couple of bucks a marker. So yeah. I'm sure you can get them on sale, but uh, they are not cheap. Um, we bought a set that's coming in the mail, and it's from um, Amazon, and it was on a Black Friday deal, and that's why we bought them. Um, we also bought a, three different sets of colored pencils um, that were on Black Friday deals, so we could try some stuff for you guys. And... Um, we feel like it's probably better if we start buying things as opposed to um, being gifted things. So well, we I, I don't mind being gifted because I'm still. But we're very honest about it. Yeah, so I'm like, always going to be honest yeah. about it, and the and the, the brands know. Yeah. If I like something, I mean, I, I've how many times have I said, Ugh, I don't like these Crayola stuff, you know, and they keep sending us stuff, but. Um, and and you know, look at look at my my video of the, uh, the pastel or the the um, oil markers, and they love the video. <laughs> the oil yeah oil pastels they love the video. You, you crack me up though. You're like you just like throw things on the floor at people. Like, yeah. Can you draw from your imagination? I can. Um, the October series was all done out of my imagination, and I just I I. I can do it. I just don't like my art as much when I do. I do not paint. I write, but I don't paint. Um, oh, Bean says, I just followed Bethany's channel. I'd love to see more works from you guys. You're also talented. So Bethany and I were talking about yesterday about her um, oil content, oil paints content. And actually, um, some journaling stuff that I'm going to be doing. So she's going to be posting more videos on oil, and I'm going to be posting more videos on journaling. Good. So, yeah. We were, let's see, have you both ever colored your hair? Yes. No. I don't have hair. Thank you for uh, bringing up that really sensitive subject. Yeah. So sensitive. <laughs> um, what was one of your first ever drawings you could remember? Oh, Scott I did a whole video on that. Yeah, I actually still have them. Yeah. The Spider Man. Do you have a recommendation for a cheap and reliable clear coat? Um, fixative, right? Yeah, workable fixative. By, uh, what's the name? Workable 
people fix it in? Uh, Krylon. Um, well, I've written a book that's got illustrated called Teddy Bear Dreams. And right now, <coughs> I have a travel journal, but I write in my travel journal. I don't paint in my travel journal. Um, hold on, i got to change this bass loaded music that drives us, us crazy. Um, and um, I paste things in my travel journal when I put pictures in my travel journal. What do you guys think? I think it's coming up pretty interesting. I like it. It's definitely flat. It's not, it doesn't have a... Um, I'd like to try this on something like wood or something. Really? Interesting. Um, what do you think would be the best watercolor travel kit? I think the Windsor & Newton pocket field box is pretty good. That's my favorite. And then for $25, come on. Uh, I have alcohol marker portraits going back years. I store them in plastic wallets slash booklets. Very cheap to buy online, and they haven't faded enough to notice to the one who asked about soon. Oh, good, good. Yeah. If you keep them out of the light, yeah, they'll they'll last a little longer. Uh, how long did it take you to figure out colors and shadows? I usually stick to graphite because I can't figure them out. Um, I I would say it maybe took a couple years. You know, you it's a learning thing. What's the painting that took you the longest? The Animal Crackers movie poster. Yes. 17 Lira is correct. Our mods are very artistic in all sorts of different ways, which is really cool. Um, I think that's the fun part of, of being here together with everybody. Everybody has their own little specialty that they bring to the table, and it's kind of fun. You learn different things from different people. It's pretty neat. Um, Mushroom Girl says, hi, I'm really struggling with mental health, and it's really hard to draw. Can you give any advice? Do a journal. Go around just drawing what you see. Write down what you're feeling. Um, it's really cool to be able to go back a year from now and read what your thoughts were and what you were going through and try that. It could be really good for you. All right. Mint green. Let's see. We did that one. I think I'm going to finish outlining. Um, uh, sorry, guys. I am... Uh, Weird? Yeah, well, that wasn't that a given? Hello? Um, you, oh, boy. Okay. All of the comments. Okay, we're just going to start at the bottom. What should I draw? Um, Tossed Sata, a red panda. Thoughts on mechanical pencils? I like them. I don't use them anymore, but I do like them. I use mechanical pencils, but only because I make lists and do things like that, and they're good for that. Um, <clears throat> your son uses mechanical pencils for math. What's your secret to color contrasting in different mediums? That's an interesting question. Well, uh, like I said, uh, the secret is I am, like in this case, I'm just looking at the the, the reference. And, uh, oh, I, may we see the reference picture again, please? Yeah. Um, once you've drawn from reference enough, you will start to be able to take what you see and then add your own like little flair. What do you think? It's coming out pretty good, huh? I think it's coming out great. It's definitely different than your watercolor technique, but I like it. It's kind of interesting watching you, and it's very flat, and usually you do things, there's a lot of shadows and a lot of... Yeah, this is very graphical in some way. Yeah, it is. But I like it. It's a different look for you, but I like it. Um, you start your day with a YouTube live, your Indian fans like me end their day with that live. So uh, it's very relaxing. That's Triashi. We're so glad you're here. Simon just started doing art and is already 28. Any tips? I primarily use coal, acrylic, and gouache. Um, bless, bless you, Simon. I'm yeah. already 28. Yeah. I, I, I would say, um, 
I'm assuming you're just asking for tips on just your art, not like a career or anything like that. Um, so just on the art, give yourself a little bit of, I don't know, um, cut yourself some slack because your art now at 28 is probably so much better than it was at 18. And just keep that in mind that when you hit 38, when you hit 48, when you hit 58, you're going to be so much better and feel so much more confident. And also, don't be afraid to try different mediums if you get bored. Okay, so I'll tell you too, like it's never too late to start because I always wanted to keep a journal. My whole life, I've always wanted to keep a journal. Never, never got around to it. Never could keep going for multiple pages. And I have written in a journal every day since March 1st of 2020. And I'm 53 or how old am I? 53? She needs you. Yeah, she wants to go upstairs. I'm 53. So, you know, you're drawing at 28. Just keep drawing. You okay, Right? So weird that this is that this little mint green is covering up the black. It's pretty cool though. I mean it's pretty neat. Almost okay. feels like digital. What was your favorite place to draw or paint? Venice. Uh, the, uh, the answer to keeping an alcohol marker sketch is either take a picture or scan it into the computer. Mm. You know, seriously, like if, if, if you'd like to, to keep things, yes. Alcohol, yes, look, do it. alcohol markers are fun. Um, if you're just doing stuff for fun, if you want to make a quote unquote masterpiece that you want to keep in it, don't use alcohol markers, use watercolors, use acrylics, use anything that has a longer shelf life. Um, are y'all cat people or dog people? Uh, we love, obviously, I, I'm a tiger person. If I can have a tiger, I'm a cat person. Otherwise, I'm a dog person. Okay, well, I Give me do, Felix and I'm happy. Yeah, we love all animals, um, but I'm allergic to cats, so um, I can't have cats. So I go over and I blow up on Bethany's cats and then I come, I wash my hands and I come home because <laughs> I can't, um, we'd love to see more. Oh, thank you, Bean. I'm going to put together some more journaling stuff. I actually um, have some brand new journals that came in the mail. So I'm going to be doing that. I'm um, getting a few other things in. I'm going to show my travel journal from Venice because my stuff is, like I said, my stuff is not as like, exciting as Scott's. So let's put it that way. I do more writing um, than I do like the pictures and the, but I, I print out pictures on a little printer, but anyway, yeah, you will see more. Um, have you, both of you graduated from college? Yes, we have. Barely. Well, he was barely, I graduated. Um, you're using markers for inking, Scott. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's see. Um, oh, my God, I love gorillas in your channel. What's the secret to color contrasting in different art mediums? Um, I, I mean, you you saw me do it with uh, the Aang piece. Uh, really, it's just a matter of knowing the medium. Um, like I said, with gouache, I will go with my mid-tones mid first. And then my um, shadows and then my highlights. Whereas with watercolor, I will go in with my highlights and then just work my way to darker colors. So you got to know how the, the materials work. Um, you remind me of my late geography teacher. He was a wonderful man and hair was a sensitive subject. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Going in and drawing people is very cool and relaxing. That's Reza. You know, it's interesting. It's um, it's a completely different view of something when you sit and look at it and watch it and sort of take it in. It's kind of neat. Um, what kind of markers are those? These are, I've never used them before. They're Artex acrylic markers and they're Pretty cool. I've never used them before, so I'm just learning about them. If you could choose a place to go for vacation, where would you want to go? Currently, well, 
see vacation kind of get like I want to go, I think, to Scotland, Ireland. I want to go to Greece. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to go back to Italy and look at, you know, like, we have been all over Italy. Once. Yeah. I want to go to Iceland. Um, but then, but then you say vacation, and I think, what would be restful? <laughs> I can't really yeah, think of any. There's a difference between like going and traveling and touring around and seeing things and like having a restful break. And yeah. like maybe just laying on a beach and just, but you don't do restful well. I don't. He doesn't, you know, I could lay on a beach and sleep for a week and get completely sunburned, but uh, there we are. You should do more outdoor sketching, like urban sketching. Just I, did that I was day. just, yeah, I was just, yeah. just the other day. I'll post a video later today mm -hmm. on it. Yeah. With one of our other art friends who's here. In our, is she here on YouTube? No. Oh, she just, she just opened up a YouTube account based okay. on. What we were so talking. when you see the video um, that Scott puts out, go and give her some love. Um, you'll see it. Uh, we are in the central time zone. We go live Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 9 a.m. central time. Um, do you follow Torin Marie on YouTube? She does awesome journaling. I don't. Thank you, Wanderlust. I don't. Let me get that name down so I can... I can follow them. I follow a bunch of journaling people on... Um, Instagram, because um, I like the pictures and I like to blow them up and see what kind of different things that they use. Do you have any tips on watercolors? I'm doing a big piece, but I can't get the colors right. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I, I don't know if you've heard me say this, but uh, work light to dark. That's the, the number one thing with watercolors. What's our favorite place we've ever visited? Currently, it's, it's Venice, Italy. Video showing how your art bag works. Oh, you have. I have. Yeah. yeah. Just, just go, go to my, go to my YouTube channel and just yeah. type in Swiss medic bag. Mm -hmm. And you know what's kind of funny though? You're gonna have to like. I noticed this before we went to Venice. Scott took this Swiss medic bag, and we have the little chair that he tried because we, you, you can see that video in there too with all the things that he packed. Go out and like when you try to pack a bag and stuff. Go out and like. Take your stuff and try it out and see what you like and see what you don't like and see what you use and see what you don't use. I took about 40,000 pens with me to Italy. I used one pen. I kid you not. One pen. Okay. Look how cool this is. Look at this. I'm taking orange. Yeah, and I could just. Cool. It's going right over the top of it. Yeah. It's pretty neat. Very. You're smitten. It's kind of funny how smitten you are. <laughs> uh, it's, it feels like this is a new tool I could use in, in certain times, you know? Yeah. Um, oh, God. He used, does mixed media work all the time. Yeah. Do you have any tips on journaling? I've tried, but I can't see it. Okay. So you know what's helped me the most is just setting a specific time to do it every day. I always journal at night before I go upstairs to go to bed. I go to my desk and I sit down and I turn down the lights and I have light a candle and I sit and I know, I know it sounds stupid, but it's like a little ritual, you know, but it helps me make time for it every night. And I enjoy it. I enjoy giving myself that time. So I kind of make it a sacred time to do it. And that just helps. So I hope that helps you. Um, what do you do when you have art block? I hate it because I just want to let my feelings out, but I have no inspiration to write or paint or draw. Oh, um, I have a video on that, but essentially what I do is I go and I look at other people's art. Mm -hmm. I get inspired by other artists mm -hmm. and it, you know, it, sometimes that'll have me copy their work mm -hmm. or, or something like that, but that's what inspires me. That's what gets me going. Yeah. Try a museum or if you, and if you can't get out to go to a museum, Go online. The Louvre has things online. A lot of different museums, even your local museums have things, exhibits that they put online now because they know people can't necessarily get out. Did your parents support your art journey? They did. I had great parents for that. My mom was an artist. My uncle was an artist. Yep. So I was in a really fortunate position for that. They didn't have a lot of money, um, but, oh, they, but they – we're really cool about that. Okay, I need a really, I don't see it. What? Um, 
So there's this really like magenta. Look at that, like a hot pink. So, and I'm not seeing it here. Do you here. prefer to be drawn in nature or in the middle of a city? Um, I, I'm not fond of cities, I'll say that. But um, I think I prefer a city um, for no other reason than if I needed to use a restroom, I don't have to go find a tree or something. Um, but I, I, yeah, that's that's my thinking on it. Moving right along, Liv sent you a tip and then asks, do you think about adapting stylized characters like Tootie into your own style? You have such a unique look to your work, and I was really curious. I do think about that stuff all the time. Oh God, this isn't the right color. Um, too light. Yeah. This is too orange. I do think about adapting styles all the time. I really do. Um, Ash says, I've been doing art since I was about eight. Now I'm 42, but my kids keep making me do these challenges. I started <laughs> a travel journal sort of like yours. Hey, that's great. That is great. I'm just I love that your kids are excited and want you to do the challenges. That's fun. Yeah. It's always great when your kids want to like hang out with you and do stuff with you. And hey, try this. You know, it's, it's fun, you know? Um, Scott, <coughs> if you could choose a place to go on vacation, where do you want to go? Um, maybe back to Italy. What's your favorite gorilla's song? Uh, Melancholy Hill. Sam Stone says, hey, Scott, I'm sick with strep throat right now. Aww. This is simply making my day. Thank you for streaming. Oh, my pleasure. I hope you feel better soon. I think I'm going to try red. Shrioshi. Oh, gosh. Sorry. I didn't know I was pronouncing it wrong. Yeah, I think My this mom one. will be shocked. She's a great fan of yours. You're so cute. Hi, Mom. Yeah, hello. Hi, Scott. I'm really inspired by you. I'm almost 12. And oh. as I can see, I'm the best at art in my class. My favorite art medium is colored pencils. My weakness is bare hands, legs, tips to improve it. Oh, it sounds just like me. Yeah, just like you, actually. Colored pencils, yeah, all of that. Just keep drawing what you see. Draw from reference, draw from life if you can. That's what I would tell my 11-year-old. 11? Did they say they were 11? They're 12. 12. That's what I would tell my 12-year-old self. Um, I did not. Okay, so Marguerite. Marguerite's like, did you get the Christmas set from Archibald? I didn't buy the Christmas set box. What I did buy was a couple of the notebooks. I have so, I w I'm a sub box subscriber too. And I paused my box for this time around because I still haven't used all the things from the September box. Um, but um, I have some acrylographs that I've used in the past and I've got a bunch of washi tape and stuff. So I am um, still trying to figure out what to do with her, the latest ones. But I got the, my, my new thing that I wanted really badly was the little, um, I got the A5 notebook that had the little snow globe on the top of it. So cute. Oh my God. I can't even. I'm almost done with my current journal. I think that's number seven. I think I'm going to say that's number seven that I've written in. Um, but uh, yeah. So this will, that'll be number eight, I think. Can Scott share why he barely finished college? He just didn't like it. Yeah. I'm just not a great student. Mm -hmm. I'm really not. And, and oh, I yeah. like to. You do want to learn more things now that you're older. I think it comes with age. Yeah, yeah. What's been your least favorite place to visit? No, oh, I don't think that's a fair question. Hey, is Santa here? Wait a minute. Oh, Santa's here. He's his best wishes, everyone. Hey, Thank Santa. Thank you for stopping in because you're so busy this time of year. We Everybody say you. hi to Santa. Um, I think I'm going to do a background of lavender. How was your Thanksgiving? Oh my gosh, it was very filling. I ate too much. How about you? How was your Thanksgiving? Oh, me? Uh -huh. That was good. Um, let's see. There is a video on noses. Please visit India. You know what? We were supposed to go there and do a film, and it's on the list of places to visit. 
Um, we would have gotten there sooner, but uh, Ghost Rider says, seeing an older artist accepting LGBTQ plus and everything is amazing, personally for me, because I'm LGBT oh. and a young artist. So it really helps me. You are truly my inspiration. So. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Well, we're just happy that you're here. Yeah, you're always welcome here. Yep. We are a safe place. We love having everybody here. Can you guys place the microphone the same distance? Oh, we can't. Because I'm sitting over at Scott's desk and I'm a little louder anyway, so it's easier for me to be farther away. So I'm sorry about that. Yeah, otherwise, I'd have to wear headphones to he block would. out the sound because yeah, she's loud. I'm really loud. Those are the circles on, the, on his shirt. They're just X's. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. That looks very clean. Well done. Thank this you. Amazing. My first time ever using these. I am very impressed. And you guys know him. That says a lot. Our techs can expect a five-star review. Oh, you have to keep adjusting the volume. I'm sorry about that. Um, oh, now they're asking. Bean is asking Bethany if she has tried water-soluble oils. I find them really, really weird. They almost feel stickier than normal oils. Weird question about how long is the longest Scott has been in the hot hole for? Oh. I don't even I don't even know how to answer that question. He's down here all day, every day. Yeah, I mean, but like all at once without coming up, maybe three, four hours at the most. Yeah, I think that's a good, a good estimate. How long have you been practicing art? Uh, for 40 something years. Do you like drawing landscapes like oceans, fields, and sunsets? When I'm traveling, I don't like to do it from the hobbit hole. I love it when you draw um, places we've been landscapes of where we've been. Yeah. Do you think you will go back to Italy? Hands down, yes. I'd like to, yeah. Yeah. We only got to go to Venice. There's so much more we haven't seen. Um, All right, I'm going to try to add a little bit of have texture. You, have you done commissions? If so, do you have any tips? I have done commissions. Um, gosh, my tip would be to uh, come up with a style that you can do consistently. Uh, something that you can do quickly. That's where I came up with the watercolor and ink kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, that that that's what I would say. Have you ever made like prints before with ink? Um, no, I don't so, think I made no, prints. Uh -uh. I love watching your videos. Keep up with the work. Thank you. I'm trying to see if these will blend, but it these... looks like they just kind of go over each other. And they do not blend. Um, we started, we watched the first episode of Wednesday, but we haven't watched any more since then. Um, do you listen to Gorillaz? I do. Uh, where do you get your watercolor paints? Uh, Blick Art Materials. Or Art Supplies. Let's see. Uh, what's your favorite song from Gorillaz? Uh, Melancholy Hill. Hi, Scott from Denmark. Just want to thank you for making these videos. You've inspired me in an age of 39 to return to making art after I stopped painting and drawing in my early 20s. Oh, thank That's you. I'm, I'm so happy to hear you making I art hope again. That makes you happy. That's exciting. Have you ever been to Providence, Rhode Island? I have. You have. I haven't, but you have. Beautiful. Um, tell us the story of why you first started making content on YouTube. Um, well, I just started making content on YouTube in February, and the reason why was because Dan Povenmire suggested it. Um, how many sketchbooks have you worked in? Oh, boy. Um, probably over 50. Easily over 50, yeah. Does Scott do any drawing, gesture drawing first as a warm-up, or does he just jump right into the pieces like that? Yeah, I don't do gesture drawing anymore. Um, I, I do miss figure drawing classes, but no, I, I, at this point, I just go straight to the illustration. Um, love your work. Going to be starting college at SCAD at the end of January. I'm hoping to start my journey into digital animation. Thank you for all the fun and cool videos. Oh, wonderful. Oh, Congratulations. Exciting. I look forward to seeing your work one day. Yes, 
that used to do commissions. Um, he's a little too busy for commissions right now. How do you get so accurate to the reference image? Uh, I traced this. Um, but if I wasn't tracing it, it's just a cartoon. I would probably get pretty close. If it's a photograph, again, I would say a lot of years of drawing people and doing, you know, uh, work from reference. But like I said, if I have to get it exactly right, I'm going to trace it. That's a tool that you don't want to ignore. Uh, Crayola pencils or Prisma color pencils? Prisma, any day. Did you do everything you wanted to do and experience as an artist? Um, I would say yes, but also, you know, there's always new things. I'd like to try sculpting one day. But, um, I mean, I, I've been able to do animation, comic books, uh, graphic novels. Well, comic books, graphic novels, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I've been able to do everything I wanted to. I've been able to travel. Nixia says Pacer applies to art school tomorrow. Oh, good luck, Pacer. I'm so excited for her. She's so stinking talented, that kid. Um, let's see. Will you do the whole band? <laughs> oh, gosh. I don't know. Um, this was fun. It it's It's kind of tedious, you know, but it is fun. I love watching these streams while I'm doing my own art projects for college. It gives me motivation to keep going with things. That's Pickle Productions. Oh, you're welcome. Um, oh, who love Copic markers are the best for blending? Oh, and is this, ew, my tea is cold. Oh, you know, ironically, I can drink cold tea, but I can't drink cold coffee. People say they love it. I think it's disgusting. Maybe a series where you draw your favorite songs. I'm still going to need you to draw a Christmas tree that people can, we can put on the, um, the thing to download. I'm sorry. Not sorry. I'm going to need you to do that. Uh, let's see. Where are you from? Well, we're from here, of course. Um, are these pens similar to, we haven't tried the pastas yet. I have that's some and I will list. be testing them out. Yep, that's on the list. I'm just things. waiting for, I bought a couple sets. So I'm waiting for the others to come in. So we'll do a live where I try out Posca pens. Yep, yeah, we will indeed. I love your work. How do you recommend someone who's not very good at drawing gets better? Good question. Just uh, encourage them to draw every day and not to draw from their head. You know, can we circle back to the, did you do everything you wanted to do and experience as an artist? I think when you stop doing things and learning things and doing, then you might as well just be dead. And I say that with 53 years in the, under my belt. I think the best part about being our age is there's so many things that we've realized we still don't know and we get to learn, which is super exciting. Yeah. At least to me, it's super exciting. Um, and constantly doing, wanting to do new things. I didn't travel journal when I was a kid. That wasn't something my family did, but I do it now and I love it. Yeah. So constantly doing new things and trying new things. I think that's the coolest part about being human. Yeah. Cold tea is the worst. You're so funny. Um, let's see. Coffee is coffee. Hot or cold. Don't care. Get me my caffeine, says Steph Nerd. <laughs> Nixia says different medium and he still managed to find a pink gray background. <laughs> That's actually lavender, but thank you. Oh, and, unless you're talking about the previous one, yeah. You're so funny. You guys are funny. Can you do more tutorials, maybe longer ones? I really don't think that's my thing. Um, you know, you'd just be listening to me like right now. This is not interesting, me just sitting there going, uh, oh, and then maybe this. But I'm okay with answering questions. Do you have a hobby craft over in the U.S.? I don't, I've never heard of that. We don't have a lot of stores you guys have overseas. Um, and likewise, you don't have some of the stuff that we do. So unless it's Amazon, then everybody seems to have Amazon. 
Scott, I'm new to your channel and I love all the tips and positive reinforcement for doing art for love and fun. Oh, thank you and welcome. We're happy you're here. Um, Mar says, I, you are such an inspiration. I tried watercolors a couple of days ago and it brought my motivation to try new mediums back. Thank oh, fantastic. Video. So I'm just cleaning up the lines because uh, tell you know. again what you're painting with and show the photo reference when you can. Yeah. These are Artex acrylic markers, mm -hmm. which are pretty darn amazing. Do you do you need to draw every single panel when making a comic book, or did you have some assistant artist to draw some of the minor panels? No, you gotta draw every panel. When Scott was doing the comic stuff, guys, it's a pay your dues kind of a situation. That was just do it yourself. Do all yeah. of it. Um, Bingus says, I lost all my motivation, but I started seeing you on my YouTube shorts, and now I'm a subscriber, and I love your content. Oh, great. Well, I hope you're drawing again. Scott, what's your least favorite drink? Gosh. Coffee. He hates it when I come home. I don't even like the coffee. smell of it. Yeah. Thanks for this video. My high school shut down for snow. Aww. Aww. Um, Prince Vegeta made a couple of flip books. Oh, how fun. How do these pens work? They look so smooth. I would like to ask that too. I have no idea. Witchcraft. Uh, yeah, it's witchcraft. Do you draw in silence mostly or do you prefer to put on some music? Music. Um, or audiobooks. Unless I'm around. That no one can hear anything. Santa says, I would love to see a Scott and Donna Q&A series in front of the camera. Oh, boy. And Santa brought chaos this morning. <laughs> that requires makeup and clothes. And I'm like, how has making content changed your art somehow or your feelings about your own art? That's a great question. It's a great question. And it has. Um, I've gotten more confident making art and I have gotten... Um, happier making art. I think you're happier because you're just making more art. Yeah. You know? I'm going to try this. I want to see if I could do this. No. Nope. Not even close. Mm. Mm -mm, it's too light. Give it some, give it a little uh, bit. What are your thoughts about the mathematical aspect of art, i.e. golden ratio? Has it been an interest to you to study? Art has just been intuitive for me. Yeah, it's just intuitive for me too. Um, I like the rule of threes. I don't use it all the time, but I think that definitely helps for the thirds, you know? What's the rule of threes? It's, it's just like when you're taking a picture um, or you're, you're doing a painting, you don't want to have the character always dead center off to the, you know, like the third of the page kind of thing. Really? It's kind of a good thing. Yeah. Huh. I think I remember you talking about that at some point. Favorite art genre we might not expect. Um, I don't know, comic books, but I, I would think you guys would expect that from me. What's your opinion on taking notepads with you everywhere you go? I think it's great. I never used to take a notebook with me everywhere, but I have one in my car. I have one in my purse. I think it's fantastic. I always have a pencil or a pen. It's kind of cool. Hi, just on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. You're so funny. My kids are always astonished when they come into my office and find me drawing my character, says Ash. Oh, that's great. I love that. Um, let's see. Did I miss? Um, have you ever visited the Netherlands? No. We want to go, though. You're on the list. Where's The Hague? Is that in the Netherlands? Then that's where uh, there's a mural with my artwork up there. Oh, that's right. That's true. We have to go. Do you travel out of the country much? No. Mm -mm. We'd like to, but we just... No. Yeah. 
well, I mean, it's been two and a half years of COVID, so yeah. nobody's really been going anywhere. And we just got out for our first trip to Venice at the end of, here we go, end of September? Uh, it was, yeah, end, yeah, of, end of September, September of early October. October. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's your favorite style to draw? Do you like cartoons or realistic more? I think more realistic. I mean, I don't, I don't like photorealism, but more realistic. Um, yeah, the Hague is in the Netherlands. Um, thanks for doing these lives and answering questions so patiently. My pleasure. Thank you all for hanging out with us. He loves answering questions. Yeah. Donna, I'm finally doing Timo Fluey merch. Oh, that's great. <laughs> please, please, please tag me when you post it and put it up so I can buy something. <laughs> I like to think I inspired Timo Fluey. Um, <laughs> you can apply the rule of thirds on your phone camera if you use an iPhone. Yes, yeah, I saw that. Interesting. Um, what brand of alcohol markers do you recommend? Um, the ones that, that, uh, I, I think are good for the price are the, uh, the art beak ones. I did a video on that and they're pretty good. Um, favorite type of paint. I like watercolors and gouache by Windsor and Newton. Um, I just joined what markers are these? These are, and I've never used them before. These are acrylic markers by Artex and they sent me these and I was like, eh, but boy, were they pretty cool to use. They like are let's, um, let, about thirty dollars for thirty markers. Look at that; they'll draw on anything. I was motivated by you to start drawing, but my art looks like a demon. <laughs> then that's You're fine. So Just start; it doesn't matter. Well, what do you guys think? I thought this was a very good experience. Of this whole live today has been you going, I'm so surprised. I'm so surprised. I am. I really though. like these because we're so used to hearing you go, Ah, oh, this is terrible. Oh, come <laughs> on. <laughs> no, you try new stuff like the oil pastels, and you're like, Oh, this is just terrible. It's not working. I'm going to have to fix this later. And then you spend two hours after the live fixing things with all the <laughs> stuff. You're like, I threw everything at it. That's usually the Crayola stuff. <laughs> Genre of art you don't like. Pop art, pointillism, macabre, etc. Yes. Uh, most of those things, but actually pop art, not some, you know, sometimes I'll do kind of a pop art. This kind of almost has like a pop art feel, but um, I would say definitely abstract art. I'm not a fan. Oh. Timo says Lord and Lady Crackers. That's so cute. Um, who's your inspiration, honey? I have tons of them. <laughs> uh, J.C. Leyendecker, Alphonse Mucha, Drew Struzan, John Buscema, tons and tons of influences. Um, what is your favorite fan encounter? Um... I don't know. I got to meet Sylvester Stallone. That was pretty cool. Huey Lewis was mine. Yeah. I actually had to take half a Xanax to, to meet Huey. I'm not saying, but I'm saying. What brand? Oh, we did that. Uh, your art is really good. I love Thank you. you. So we love you too. I think I'm done. I'm just noodling now. So. Okay. When's the last time you took the missus out on a date? And what's your preferred pizza topping? <laughs> I'm a cheese pizza kind of person. Uh, she likes salami. Mm -hmm. And... You did take me to Venice with him. I did take her to Venice, day. yeah. So I think I'll cut him some slack on that one. <laughs> Can All you right. tell us a few tips of painting with watercolors? Yes, there's a ton of them in my art hacks. But uh, work from light to dark. Oh, um, Manassi, I, I hope that's your name and I didn't butcher it. And if I did, I'm sorry. What are your tips for painting on site slash when you travel? Just I have a video on that too, but uh, essentially take a photo of what you're going to paint before you do because things change. 
that would be my number one thing. What's the point of doing tracing? Just wondering. Tracing is something I use to speed up stuff like, like this. If I would have had to draw this, every single one would have been slightly different, but tracing it gives it consistency. So that way, when you look in it, you, when you look at it, you can compare the medium that I'm working in, not, oh, this drawing looks a little more like Ang than that drawing. It gives you that consistency when you have to do something multiple times, or if you just have to get something just right. But it also speeds things up. Like if I was to draw this, it would have probably taken me 15 minutes, but I was able to trace it in about three. So I had to get ready for a live. I just projected it, traced it real quick, and you're good. Also, so, you trace when things have to be very, very accurate. Yeah, like if I'm a, if it's a paying job and I'm I'm doing a you know like I have to do the likeness of Star Trek characters or something, then you trace it because once you start painting over your pencils, you, there's still a lot of stuff that can go wrong. So the tracing just gives you a good foundation so you can get everything right. Again, I don't trace all the time, but I will trace when need when need be. And a lot of that being an artist is learning to be okay with that because you hear from so many people that it's cheating and this and that or whatever. It's not. There's there's no such thing as cheating. And every professional artist I know traces. When they have to do something, they trace. And uh, it but every professional artist I know can draw. It does, you know, they don't need to trace. So I think that's the thing. Once you've drawn enough and you know that you can do it, you feel a little less guilty about it. It's not a crutch. It's just a tool that you use. Okay. You cheered me up when I thought my art was bad. Um, have you come across a fan or subscriber outside before? And then we'll follow that up with what if a fan went up to you while you were painting and you don't want to get interrupted? <laughs> I, um, I, I've only met a fan once and, uh, and it was a very awkward situation and I wrote about it in the community section if you want to go find it. It was funny. Um, and uh, was if anybody ever came up to me while I was painting, which people do all, the, do time, all the time, not as fans, but they just, yeah. I, I'm, I'm always, by. yeah, I'm always very friendly or I usually have headphones on. Yeah. And so I just, unless they tap me on the shoulder and say, and, and ask me a question, no, I'll usually not. just let people just look over my shoulder or take pictures or whatever. When we were in Venice painting for eight days, there were thousands oh of people God. walking by and looking at what we were doing so and, and that's totally fine. But if you, if anybody ever sees me out in public, feel free to say hi. Um, just, just know that when you see Scott, he will look unapproachable because he will have headphones yeah. on and he will just have his head down if he's it, It's, it's a lot of that is the autism. Just understand that I'm not the, the, I'm not going to strike up a friendly conversation. We're going to talk for hours and be best friends. It's just, I, I'm a very, quiet you know introverted person so there was only there was no one around yesterday or a couple of days ago whenever he was drawing out in the wild with this friend of his yeah. um, that you'll see in the video and he had his headphones on with the noise canceling and cars were coming down the street that they were sitting next to and he was like this is so loud and so yeah, it was very loud yeah it, he has a hard time sometimes outside um okay i'm gonna go get some Oh, you want to go get some breakfast? Yeah, some breakfast. Okay. No, Donna is not good at drawing. Um, and, oh, we're going to do a video on the projector. Yes, we're going to do a video on the projector. We have a projector coming in, and we're going to do a video on it. So, and and the company uh, is going to give you guys a, was it 20 or 25? 20%. 20% off discount. That so you're not going to be able to get because these never go on sale. So... Um, <laughs> Timo Blue, you're funny. Um, have you ever felt like you quit art and then I'll let you go have breakfast? Yes, I gave up <laughs> for 10 years. Uh, I was doing uh, my comic book series. Uh, I was doing all 3D animated kind of stuff. And I did not draw f on pencil and paper for three year or for 10 years. Mm -hmm. And um, I just got tired of colored pencils. Um. YouTube is actually what we're doing for work right now because we're not in the middle of one of our own film productions. Scott has different projects that are out and about. I've got, uh, yeah, I've got animated stuff that I'm doing right, right now, but it's, but it's not, not full stuff. time. Yeah, it's not full time. So yes, YouTube is our sort of our currently, yeah, something. And yes, the Be Creative Notebook is his favorite one. And anybody that's asking about art supplies, 
there's an art supply list that Scott has on the website. On the website. And if one of you, the mods, if you could put that in Scott's art supplies, that would be great. And if anybody wants to support us, the best way to do it is by clicking the product tags mm -hmm. and clicking through now. They want you to click through to the websites. And it's just... All you have to do is click. You don't yeah. have to buy No one has to buy anything. Click. They just... But they, yeah, but they, they are looking for... Uh, for that and YouTube is paying me for every click that mm -hmm. goes through so you just you don't need to buy anything Just click through Yep, and that helps us out and we appreciate that and it's free um, Yes, okay, so I just several people have asked and you haven't showed it Can you show the photo reference again and then I'll let you go? Okay. Yeah My fingers on the end stream. There you go. Photo Not bad, huh? I think it looks good. I'm surprised that you actually like the markers Okay, everybody we will see you Oh, God, what day is it? It's Wednesday, right? Yeah, we'll see, we'll you, see you Friday. We'll see you Friday. And, um, yeah. We'll Have a wonderful day. Um, I hope you guys make some good art or write or do something fun for yourself. And, and we love you. Have a great day. Have a wonderful Wednesday. And we love you guys. Bye. Bye.